Hello, it's me, and what better way to start off the new year than new toys? So, an unboxing of another puzzle. This one comes from, uh, where? This one comes from, uh, the puzzle artist. So I've been, uh, enjoying a lot of his work recently. So let's see what we got. Uh, I've got a lot of multi cubes, puzzles within puzzles, which seem to have occupied a place in my in my fascination recently. Okay, get my tiger claw out here. Ha. All right, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so this is another multi cube. Oh, it's a big one. And I like it when they come with stickers because, well, they don't always last. Uh, I like sticker puzzles, but one of the issues is they often fall off. Okay, so recently I've been really fascinated with circle puzzles and multi-puzzles. There's something about solving every aspect of a puzzle, including what's on the inside, that's always fascinated me. Uh, so these are FDM printed. It's not the, It's got a different feel than SLS printed, but let's see what we got. Okay, so this is a rhombic dodecahedron. It's a multi um, rhombic dodecahedron, and let's see what we have on the inside. So first couple of moves, so it has that same sort of um, kind of crispy movement, uh, but the movement is actually really good. Uh, it moves as you would uh, expect. All right, so we have actually two types of moves. So it's a hybrid uh, within a multi-cube. So we've got this move over here, and we've got this move over here. Okay, so this is the multi-rex rhombic dodecahedron, and it's actually got a hybrid axis, so this face is different than this face, but I gotta say the movement is really good, so I, I anticipate having a whole lot of fun with this puzzle. So what is the inner puzzle? So I'm gonna analyze that. Now you have an option of getting an acrylic window over this, or not. I chose to not. Um, I'm not sure why, I guess I could've, but uh, uh, I kinda like it from the purity standpoint, so I can size it up with the other um, uh, multi-cubes. Uh, so what appears to be in here, is this just a 3x3 three three in here? Maybe. Multi-axis cube. Uh, well, let's see. No, it's, not, it's certainly not a 3x3. Three three. So it might, it might just be a Megamix. Another uh, dodecahedral kind of a puzzle. So Rex rhombic dodecahedron. Uh, let's see what happens when I do a Rex move. Turn. Now, it's been a while since I've solved a Rectronic Dodecahedron. It's actually a shape mod of another kind of a puzzle. Now, it's interesting when I do that, it did not change these here. So I know that I can solve this part without affecting the, um, the center part, the, the inner cube. So that's this move over here. All right, so this is one axis system, this kind of a move. And this is another axis system. Um, I don't think it's going to jumble, but I'm sure that parity is going to be part of this. Anyway, uh, this looks like a very, very well-moving puzzle, very well put together. So I'm really becoming quite a fan of his, uh, uh, of his work. So this is uh, from the Puzzle Artist, and this is by Kevin, Jenna and Kevin. So strong work, good job. All right, now we have another box. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, I don't remember what this one is, so I'm excited to see what it is. box front and center. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back later and analyze this because I can tell this is a very playable puzzle. And I'm interested to see um, what kind of solve strategy we'll use, putting these in. And like I say, it's been a while since I've solved a um, Rex Rhombic Dodecahedron, so I might pull that out first. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. So uh, I wanted to... Um, just check this guy's work out here, too. There's actually two puzzles that I got. Uh, so this one is your standard cuboid, and I've always loved cuboids, so you're seeing a couple of my favorite kind of puzzles here. Okay, so this is a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and one, two. So a two by three by five. So this is uh, of the form of a brick cuboid. Um, so this is also FDM printed, and once again, the movement is really good. All right, I think I'm gonna buy more from, from this guy. And this is from Matt Studios. I, I, know, I, I know some of his work. So being um, a brick cuboid, 
uh, anytime you have two parodies that are uh, of the same, or two sides of the same parody, you can scramble into each other. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. So the three layer and the five layer can scramble into each other. So this can turn here, I can do 90 degree turns, but here I gotta do 180 degree turns. So this promises to show something of a brick parody. And again, um, I don't know that I have this particular puzzle. Um, so uh, I had to add it to my collection and this is really good. All right, I have to give this a solid A in terms of movement. Uh, it's got all the shape shifting that I would expect. I have to refresh my memory on the brick parody algorithm. So this is a brick type cuboid. A three, a two by three by five. I might have said it wrong. So two by three by five um, brick cuboid. So what do we have here? Now this one is unusual looking. Get through the glass here. Okay. Oh, this is this is unique. So, um, in style with the hybrids that I really like, we see that there's a lot of complexity to this puzzle. Um, I think it's called a crescent cube. In any case, I'll point to uh, I'll point to a description. So, um, boy, it has a lot of internal motion here. But I can see that there's some edge pieces here. Not the entire edge, but just the uh, a start of it. We do have centers here. And um, we also have corners. So it's a corner turner and an edge turner. Basically scramble just the corners, or you can scramble the edges and the corners. All right, excellent. So this should be fun. This should be a neat little cute puzzle to solve. So uh, I'm always interested in terms of how I can reduce it. Now, is it able to do funny jumbling type moves? And I'm gonna say probably not. In other words, um, if I turn this over here, can I start doing other edge moves? And uh, I don't know how that I can, so I'm going to say probably not. But if I do an edge move to here, can I do a corner move? And I'm going to say probably not. Okay, so it's a pretty um, uh, restricted in terms of how it moves, but it actually moves quite well. So a nice addition to the collection. So this could be a fun, cute little solve. Corner, turner, and limited edge turner. Now as an edge turner, usually there is some jumbling involved, but I, I don't know that you can combine these. So if I go like this, oh, maybe here, maybe, maybe this can do it. Or here, no. Okay, so there you have it. Um, some of my favorite kinds of puzzles. Um, we have a multi-cube, which is taking center stage for me right now. Really, really solid puzzle. We've got a brick cuboid, which is a kind of a shape-shifting puzzle. So again, very solid. And we got this cute little puzzle. I saw it and liked hybrids and I wanted to see what this was all about. Again, I'll come back with more full solves and analysis of these puzzles later. In the meantime, I would say at first blush, they look really good and I highly recommend checking them out. Anyway, thanks for watching and more on this later.